Hey, my friends, there's rather breaking news uh, on something very, very popular. You will have heard, of course, of Taylor Swift, hugely popular musician, especially among young people, young girls in particular. Um, Father Dan Rehill, who is an exorcist from Nashville, just gave an interview with Church Pop in which he warned young people not to go to the conference of Taylor Swift for fear or for concern about demons. Have a listen to this. The problem with the concert is that whether Taylor knew she was trying to imitate witches or in fact was doing some kind of a cult ceremony during the show uh, is sort of irrelevant to the demons. She is an incredibly uh, talented and influential artist and so the demons will take deep note of what she's doing and how she's doing it and who she's influencing. And so when they imitate these rituals with these orbs and these black capes that looks like something you'd find in the woods, uh, even if her intent was not to practice any witchcraft or do any of the incantations, she is probably attracting a lot of demons to her concerts. And that's where the problem can lie, because then you have these little girls who you know, literally sort of worship her, who are now putting themselves in a position where they could be attacked by demonic forces. So... Not saying that's going to happen to everybody, but you're definitely putting yourself in a very dangerous situation if you're going to a concert where there's somebody who's imitating or even practicing the art of witchcraft. I would say don't do it. You'll be able to see the full story at LifeSite News, but we are doing a petition to Taylor Swift to ask her not to go down this dark path to embrace Christ. I remember uh, just the other week, welcome Taylor Swift on the statue of Christ, the very famous statue of Christ in Rio, um, when she, her concert was going on there. And while we thought that was incredibly inappropriate, in a sense, it's true. Christ still welcomes into his heart everyone, including people who have gone down very dark paths. So uh, we've heard that Taylor Swift listens to her fans sometimes. So please go consider signing the petition. Uh, you'll find it at lifesightnews.com to Taylor Swift. We've heard she listens to her fans. Maybe it'll do some good. Also wanted to bring you some of the opinions of our younger people on our staff here at LifeSite News, uh, because I think uh, perhaps hearing from them uh, might make a difference. The first one I'd like to introduce you to is uh, Jacinta Rigi. She heads up our LifeSite League, a new venture to reach out to communities with LifeSite News. Jacinta, what's your take on this? I have been a Taylor Swift fan since I was a little girl and even went to one of her concerts when I was younger with my mom and had the best experience ever. Um, and I do think calling someone satanic is a very powerful word. With that being said, I also do think it has become very dangerous because people quite literally adore Taylor Swift. And of course, she cannot be the leader in our world. She's not. Um, Christ is. We're supposed to be following God. So people are now replacing Christ with Taylor. That's when it starts getting dangerous. Well, thank you for that, Jacinta. Second up is um, Christina Rosini, who's a contributor here at LifeSite. And you might have seen her on uh, Instagram, TikTok, or any of our social media channels. Um, Christina, your take. Thanks, John Henry. I would definitely say that this is a way bigger deal than people are making it out to be because Taylor Swift being one of the most influential people in the history of the world has all of these young girls adoring her, following her, trusting her decisions. And she is choosing to put on either this play of a ritual on stage or an actual ritual itself. The demons aren't going to, they don't care if it's an actual ritual or not. All I know is that they can sway young souls away from God through this. So we must pray for Taylor Swift and we must just plead her to know what she's doing because she's messing with powers that she doesn't fully understand. And finally, Mary Catherine Weston, yes, my daughter, um, she's with us in development. Mary, what's your take on this? Thanks, Stat. What I think about this situation is that Taylor Swift has such a massive fan base that ranges from all ages and what she says and what she does, she ends up influencing so many people. So I think it's so important for her to listen to our petition and to not be using such witchcraft in her music because it is going to lead 
thousands of her young fans, without even them knowing it probably, down a really bad path. So I'm really hoping and praying that Taylor Swift listens to our petition. Thank you, Mary. Well, that gives you the news from, you know, the perspective of young people. Please head over to lifesitenews.com for the full story. And if it's, if you feel it's the right thing to do, sign the petition, but do pray for Taylor Swift and take care of your young people and what they listen to. For Lifesite News, this is John Henry Weston. May God bless you.